Hello. Today I will show you how to count car parking spaces using OpenCV. First, we will implement the basic counting by clicking mouse button. After that, we'll add functionality to count parking spaces between two points. Let's start. In this part, we will write the code necessary to read and open the image. I already created the project folder in my working directory. Inside I have a Python file named car counting and two folders, input and output. In the input folder, I have two car parking images. Check the video description for the GitHub link where all these starting files and full code are. Also in the video description, you will find useful links and more info. This project will be using the OpenCV library, so make sure to install it before starting to code. We will start by importing OpenCV, import CV2. Let's open our image. First, let's create a variable called name and assign it to an image name with an extension. Next, we create an image variable and assign it to cv2.m read and in brackets, we write image destination plus name. When we want to open another image we will just change the name. Also, let's create an image copy to have it just in case. Imread function just reads the image, we need another function to open it. We will do it in a while loop. It will let us add image modifications in real time. Let's write while true and in while loop we write cv2.im show end. In brackets, we write window name and image input. We also will add two more lines to make the image window open and close when the escape button is pressed. We write the if statement, where we write cv2.wait key and in brackets 1 to keep the image window open, and 0xff equal to 27. And add a break statement. 27 is the escape key number. So, when the escape key is pressed while loop closes and the window closes. We finish by adding cv2.destroy all windows. We can run the code and see the image. Everything looks fine. Let's close it and go to the next part. We want to count and display full and empty car parking spaces. For that, we will use mouse event types. Let's begin with counting full parking spaces. Let's start by adding a named window in a while loop. cv2.named window and in brackets we write window name. We write the same as we used for the image show function. Okay, next we need to add a callback function for mouse events. If we open OpenCV documentation we will find that this function sets the mouse handler for the specified window. We just need to define the name of the window and callback function for mouse events. We write cv2.setMouseCallback and in brackets, we have the name of the window, image and a function. For now, let's name it search underscore window. This function will grab the coordinates of the mouse pointer. Let's move up in the code and add a mouse callback function. Let's open CV documentation to see what the mouse callback function looks like. So it's a callback function for mouse events. And it has five parameters, event, x and y coordinates, flags, and user data. Let's check mouse event types. For now we will use, the left mouse button down, and the left mouse button up. We want that when we press the left mouse button, we will get mouse coordinates and when we release the left mouse button we put a text with a counted number. Let's go back to our code where we add parameters to our function. We will be using just the first three, but the function to run needs all to be defined. Let's add global variables, point x, point y. We will assign mouse x and y coordinates to point x and point y variables. Let's add starting variable values outside the function. Point x and point y are equal to none and none. Let's go back to our function and add events. We will use if statements. The first event will be the mouse left button pressed. If event equal to cv2.event left button down. Point x and point y equal to x and y coordinates. So we start tracking the mouse pointer's coordinates. The second event will be the mouse left button up. A if event equal to cv2.event left button up, and for now we add pass. We need to create a simple function, which will count full parking spaces. Let's create a function named full counter and add global full count, full count plus equal to 1, and return full count. So this function will add 1 to the full count variable every time the function is called and return the current full count value. Also, we are using a global variable because this variable must be accessed outside the function. Let's add a starting value of 0 for the full count variable. Now instead of the pass we can call this function and assign the result to a new variable full spaces. And what's left is to put text in mouse position with that value. cv2.put text and in brackets, we define the image, text string to be drawn, we add f string with full spaces variable, the coordinates where we want our text to appear, 
point X and point Y, font type, we will add it in a moment, font scale, 1, text color, red, the thickness of the lines to draw, 2 and a text and line type, anti-aliased. Outside the function let's add font equal to cv2.fonthershey simplex. Let's run the code and try counting full spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4. Look like it works, but the text and mouse pointer can be more aligned. Let's subtract 15 from the x coordinate and add 5 to the y coordinate. Okay, now it looks better. What is missing is the total. Let's add it to the top left corner. This time we add put text function to the while loop because we need to update the total number every time we count a new parking space. Let's write cv2.put text and in brackets, we add image, f string with full count variable, 5 for x coordinate and 30 for y coordinate, and the rest is the same as we already wrote before. Let's run the code to see the result. Okay, we are updating the total number but the old one stays. If we update the image we will have the last total number, but all counted spaces will disappear too leaving only the current one. We need another approach, which is very simple. We will create a filled rectangle and the total number on top. So every time code loops in a while loop we draw a white filled rectangle covering the last total number. We write cv2.rectangle and in brackets we add image, starting coordinates of the rectangle, let's add 0 and 0, and coordinates of the rectangle, let's add 70 and 40, color, white and thickness minus 1, to make rectangle filled. Let's run the code. Okay, we have a displayed total number equal to 0. And if we count full spaces this total number increases too. We finished counting full parking spaces. Let's count empty parking spaces. The principle will be the same, just now we will count empty parking spaces using the right mouse button. Let's add a new variable empty count and make it equal to zero. Next, let's copy the full counter function and rename full to empty. After that, we can copy if statements in the mouse callback function and add them after. We change the left button to the right button, the full counter to an empty counter, and the red color to green. Next, we add a new text line in the while loop. It's almost the same as for full count, just now we want to display an empty count, text display coordinates are 5 and 70 and the color is green. Let's run and see if it is working correctly. We can still count the full parking spaces and empty parking space counter works as well. One problem is that we need to extend our white filled rectangle. Let's go back to the code and do that. Let's change 40 to 80 and run the code. Let's count now. Okay, now it looks fine. Let's try with different image. Okay, this is quite tedious job. It would be great if we could just select all the line and it will count all car parking spaces automatically. Let's add this functionality and make counting process even easier. In this part, we will add functionality to count how many car parking spaces are between two points. For that, we will need to create a function, which will count the distance between points. Also, we will need to expand the mouse callback function including tracking the first and the last point. We will need a square root function from the math library to calculate the distance between two points. Let's import it. Next, let's add new variables to track the first and the last point for our distance calculation. Let's name it point 1 and point 2 and assign them to none values. Okay, next let's add a new variable line count and make it equal to 0. As the name suggests this variable will store counted parking spaces when we will use the line counter. And for that counter, we also need another variable, parking width. Here we will store a parking width value in pixels, which we will count from our image. For now, let's add 10 pixels. Next, let's create a line counter function. Here we add a global line count variable. And count how many parking spaces there are in a defined line. We calculate distance between two points, divide this distance by parking width and make sure the result is integer type because we can't have one and a half parking spaces. We finish this function by returning the line count. Okay, now we can move to the mouse callback function. First, we need new variables and we need them to be global. Second, we want to assign mouse coordinates to point one when we press the left mouse button. Third, when we release the left mouse button we want to assign mouse coordinates to point two. And fourth, we calculate car parking spaces by calling the line counter function. Okay, but how to separate when we want to mark parking space just clicking in when we want to use the line function by clicking on starting point, point 1 and releasing on end point, point 2. We can do it simply by checking the parking spaces variable. If we have parking spaces equal to 0, 
it means that we just clicked and released on the same spot, but if it is greater than zero, it means we clicked on one spot and released on another. And then we can write using if statement. If the number of parking spaces is equal to zero, we count parking spaces, as usual, else we use the line counter function. So the necessary parking spaces value is parking spaces. Let's write the same draw text line, just now we use the parking spaces variable. We can run the code to test it. Okay, line counter works, and simple counter works too. For line counter text is put on the last track point. Let's make it in the middle between start and end points. For that, we calculate point middle x and middle y coordinates. We simply add point 2 and point 1 coordinates together, divide them by half and make sure it is an integer type. Let's renew used coordinates in the text draw function point middle x and point middle y. And also, let's draw a black line behind the text connect point 1 and point 2. It will help us to see what spaces we counted. Let's test it. Okay, it works, we just need to calibrate our line counter. Let's count all parking spaces in this line. Okay, we have 89, and it is supposed to be 19 parking spaces with defined parking space width of 10 pixels. So, we need to increase it more than 4 times. Also, the total number doesn't include line counter parking spaces and text on the line can be more centered. Let's go back to the code and try to solve these problems. First, let's change the parking width to 46. Next, Let's change text offset on Y axis to 7 text to be more centered. And lastly, let's use for loop to call the full counter function as many times as we calculated parking spaces using the line counter. For I in range of parking spaces, full counter. And if we run the code now, we can calculate parking spaces by clicking and by drawing a line. And the total number is also correct. Let's check the line counter with different lengths. Okay, it calculates correctly. And after line counter, Simple counter works fine too. Okay, what's left is to make the same functionality for the right mouse button. Let's start by copying this line. It will stay the same. Next, let's copy all these lines and indent these. And finally, we copy these lines. In the draw text line, we need to change the color from red to green and the full counter to an empty counter. Let's run the code and see if it is working correctly. Okay, it looks fine. Let's also try the first image. Everything works just fine. But it would be great to be able to save the image. In this part, we will add functionality to save the image when S key is pressed. Let's go to the while loop. Here we have an if statement, or if we press the escape key, the image window closes. Saving the image will be very similar. We add if statement, or we write cv2.wait key and in brackets we add 10 milliseconds and 0xff equal to or and in brackets letter S. And what it should do when the S key is pressed is to save the image, cv2.im write and in brackets, we define output folder plus name, comma, and image we want to save. The saved image will have the same name as it is. And let's change the wait time for another wait key also to 10. We are increasing the time because the code needs to have time to detect that we press the key and to save the image. If this time will be too low it can't detect the pressed key. Let's run the code the last time and try to save the image. Let's save. Let's see the folder with our saved image. Okay, it worked. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions leave them in the comments section. You will find the code in the video description. If you like this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.